I'm going to pick out a sister. I know we greet you already. Don't get tired of us, but we're just happy to have you in our midst. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's her first Sunday here. She's been here in a week. And that is the wife. Oh God, you feel nice. Praise God. Wife is here today. The wife of brother Kevin Morgan. Praise the Lord. Please stand to Kevin Morgan. Let the Lord for them. So good to have you another time. And we are happy. We are happy that you could make it and to let him feel so much better. I'm sure he's having a great summer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. Happy Friday till I don't know what to say. But God bless you. Praise God. Enjoy yourself. We are brother Kevin in all aspects. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise him. And just before I get myself out of the way, you know that another part of this couple came, but he's here today. The newest groom of TRC is here today. Praise the Lord. Please stand. Praise the Lord. Is he having a win? Praise the Lord. All right. That's brother Murphy. Praise God. Because of work, sometimes we're not seeing them coming together. But his wife came before. And brother Michael Murphy is here today. He's a newlywed, yes, married man now, praise God. So you refer to him by saying, Mr. Murphy, praise God. Bless the Lord Jesus. God bless you and keep you, my brother. And it's love basket time, praise the Lord. It's love basket time. Who will it be this month? She is faithful in her attendance. She's at church. And she's a very punctual lady as well. I think every Sunday when I come, she's here already. Praise God. Quiet. I see somebody looking. Quiet. Yes. Praise the Lord. Today's love basket will be going to... Nobody put nobody in your lap. Praise God. We'll be going to Sister Williams. Please put your hands together for her. Sister Williams, we are spreading the love in your direction today. Continue to come, continue to serve the Lord. And from the Restoration Center family to you, what a beautiful smile. And it matches up, yes, the basket matches up.
truck and give one and up, then at the boot camp, they're going to ask you to give them 60. And the boot camp, it comes in a very uh, excessive fashion. It moves, praise God, and takes you out of what is the normal and gives you something which is extraordinary above the normal in order to make you above normal. Are you with me, somebody? Um, is where one goes for training and we understand that if you are not properly trained then you're not going to be able to do the job that you have been called for so you need proper training you need proper guidance and this is a thing about us as God's people wherein we have to be trained we have to be brought into the book camp in order for us to last let me let you understand this that life is not easy and many of us as God's people tend to want to have an easy life we tend to want to have things going smoothly in our lives I won't fault anybody who wants to live a good and comfortable life I won't fault anybody who wants to be able to eat any type of food that you want when you want I won't fault anybody who wants to wear the type of clothes that you want when you want to spend your money how many of us want to be able to be spending money and not be thinking about tomorrow praise God how many of us want to be spending money and not be thinking that I'm not going to be able to go back to work praise God if I buy this all of us wants to be able to have such a life that we are comfortable but then the thing is when we look even at a animal praise God a ferocious animal like a lion or a beer, praise God. These are wild animals which are very ferocious and if you should go into the jungle and pet a lion, it will rip you to shreds the same for a wolf or a beer. But then what happens is when they catch a bear or a wolf or a lion and brings them out of the wild and, and brings them into a captive state and brings them into what is known as domestication, we realize that that lion which was ferocious and wild and, and will rip you to shreds the fact that that lion is now in a cage and being kept and fed every single day. When it's thirsty, it gets something to drink. When it's hungry, it gets food in the wild. It had to be hunting for its food and it knows that if it does not hunt, then it will not live. And that a lion has developed skills over the years that helps it to become a, 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 a top class apex predator. But now when you look in the zoo, praise God, we're able to go and pet that lion. That lion that would have ripped you to shreds, that beer that would have ripped you to shreds has now become domesticated. And can I tell you, whenever we live a life that is so comfortable that we start to become domesticated. Mm -hmm. And why you understand this? They've got through some hard training. They've got through some tough training. They've got through some hardship. They know to sleep in a bush even when we in a farm. They know that they're not going to somebody. They know how to spend years without eating. They know how to survive by just being in the jungle. You
The Restoration Center celebrates five years this September. To celebrate these five years, we will be having our very first pastoral anniversary. Yes, this will be held on Sunday, September 22nd, 2019, beginning at 6.30 p.m. on the church grounds. That's at One Gravel Lane, Montego Bay, St. James. Then... Starting on Tuesday, September 24th, 2019, will be our Upper Room Youth Convention under the theme, In Spite of the Battle's Intensity, I'm Still Standing. Services will begin 7 p.m. nightly. 
It was quite noticeable last year that the space was a major challenge. Therefore, this year, the youth convention will be held at the Holy Trinity Church Hall, Westgates Hill, Montego Bay, St. James. Be sure to invite everyone to this Holy Ghost revival. There will be dynamic preachers, namely Elder C. Hamilton, Pastor A. Cummings, Minister Nicholas Chambers, and Minister Andre Wilson. There will also be anointed choirs ministering nightly. So remember, the anniversary service will be held on the church grounds at 1 Gravel Lane, Montego Bay on the 22nd of September 2019. But from Tuesday, September 24th through to Friday, September 27th will be our youth convention, which will be held at the Holy Trinity Church Hall, Westgates Hill, Montego Bay, St. James. You can't afford to miss this one.